Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, we're at the Battleship's first ever train garden. Train gardens are pretty common in the United States around Christmas time, uh, and also around the family Christmas tree. My grandparents always set up LGBs like this around the tree, and I still have some of them, although I haven't taken them out of the box since I moved out of home. LGBs, or G-scale trains, are approximately 122nd scale. So when we decided to set up a train garden, we reached out to the South Jersey Garden Railroad Society, uh, and they said they had G-scale. We said, great. So I immediately looked up G-scale thinking, you know, we've got a bunch of models of the ship laying around. Some of them are pretty big. Maybe we've got a G-scale train in this size. Well, this is a G-scale 16-inch gun barrel. When we calculated it out, that approximately 68-foot gun barrel comes out to about three feet long. So one of the guns on this battleship is the size of a baseball bat in this scale. Now, why did we specifically want to do this? Well, when we recovered some of our World War II gun barrels from the St. Julian's Creek Annex in uh, near Norfolk, Virginia, where they were being stored and about to be cut up for scrap, Norfolk Southern donated a couple of train cars to send them up here to New Jersey. And so that got us thinking uh, we could replicate that for the train, since we couldn't have any reasonably sized model of the ship. A model of the ship at this scale is going to be something like 44 feet long. So uh, we decided, well, let's, let's just replicate the, the gun barrel. So one of our volunteers, who happens to be a veteran of the ship, was able to turn the gun barrel down on a lathe. And uh, a staff member here was able to extend a typical uh, railroad car in G scale to be long enough to handle that gun barrel. And so now we've got that set up here. What do trains have to do with a battleship? Well, Navy yards always have rail yards associated with them. Um, when you're building a ship or when you're trying to supply a ship, the only way to get all that stuff in is with trains. So steel and other components for Battleship New Jersey came from uh, roughly 22 states during World War II. And interestingly, the different Iowa-class battleships, depending on where they were built, uh, used different components. So for example, the battleships built here in Philadelphia used Westinghouse equipment, while the battleships built in New York used General Electric. So New Jersey herself had parts from 22 different states that all had to be brought in. Remember, this is before airfare, uh, significant commercial airliners. So not that an airplane is going to deliver a 120-ton gun barrel. And water traffic is possible and it was probably used to a small degree, but a lot of the components, such as steel for the battleship that might have been cast in uh, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, Bethlehem Steel, uh, is railroaded in to New Jersey. The New York Naval Shipyard building Iowa and the Philadelphia Navy Yard building New Jersey we're in competition to complete their ships um, ahead of each other. I was laid down first, they had the head start, uh, but one of the ways the constructors accomplished this, that the US is only making a certain amount of class A armor plate and gun barrels and whatnot for battleships at any given time. So they're really competing for each other to get these materials. And oftentimes the uh, shipyards and the constructors would manage to uh, reroute and intercept trains to make sure that stuff going to New York would in fact come to Pennsylvania so that they had what they needed and the New York guys were delayed. Uh, so there was a lot of this going on during the construction of these ships. So trains transport the gun barrels, some of them might have been transported by barge and that gets you so far but then how do you get the gun barrels from where it is to its final location? Well this is something we learned by doing. So we, we get those gun barrels from the St. Julian's Creek Annex, and they get uh, railroaded up here to the Philadelphia area. 
and then we got to get them from the railroad junction to where they're going. And one's going up to uh, Baskin Ridge, New Jersey, one's coming to the Philadelphia Navy Yard, and one's coming here to Camden, New Jersey. And to get them from the railroad junction, a guy named Gary Mahan, who runs the Mahan Foundation Collection, which is a truck museum in Baskin Ridge, New Jersey, had his father's truck, which was used during World War II to transport gun barrels. And he had this truck fully restored, and so he was able to use it to transport the gun barrels to their final locations. So if you'd like to see one of these real gun barrels, if you go up to Basking Ridge on one of the days that the Mahan Foundation collection is open for visitors, you can see a gun barrel on that original World War II era truck. If you come to Battleship New Jersey, we've got one in our parking lot. And if you're ever at the Philadelphia Navy Yard, check out the other one at the Marine Parade Ground. And if you would like to see the 122nd scale 16 inch 50 caliber gun barrel, come out to Battleship New Jersey in our officer's wardroom, the train exhibit will be up through Christmas 2021. So you can check it out anytime that the battleship is open, free along with your admission ticket. And a special thanks to the Mahan Foundation Collection for moving the real size gun barrels and Norfolk Southern Railroad who donated the service to move it. Uh, and special thanks to the South Jersey Garden Railroad Society uh, who have modeled it in 122nd scale or G scale. What scale trains do you guys put around your Christmas tree? Like I said, my family does G scale, but there's a lot of other HO and, and other scale railroads uh, that are popular. What, what do you do? Let us know in the comment section down below. Do you do model railroads at Christmas at home? Or do you go out to one of the volunteer firefighting outfits that puts on model railroad shows? Let us know down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals. We really appreciate all the support, and there's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to either Battleship New Jersey or the South Jersey Garden Railroad Society. You can also support Battleship New Jersey by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about our museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.